Hello, this is Dimitri with uh, U-Gears US U-Kids LLC. Today we're going to be doing another project, uh, which is one of their later models. It's called uh, U-Gears uh, Butterfly. Um, I've done the video already <laughs> once, but unfortunately moved the camera uh, accidentally during the assembly. Didn't notice it until I started uh, working on a video uh, to get it posted and uh, pretty much uh, Notice that a lot of details on the video are missing, so I need to redo the model just uh, to make sure that everything is visible and um, you guys are not going to have too many questions as far as uh, why my hands are off the screen and so on. Uh, so uh, let's go ahead and start uh, by opening the model. Uh, removing all the plastic and everything from it so this is uh, always there's uh, the model itself is wrapped inside the plastic um, just to make sure that the moisture doesn't get there so you have a couple boards or four boards on here um, we also have the wings uh, there's going to be colored wings or white uh, carbon wings, whichever one you prefer to put on the model itself. Uh, obviously rubber bands, some string, uh, toothpicks, and of course sandpaper and wax. So I'm going to put it aside right now as we don't need those at this point of time. And as I mentioned, there is uh, three boards or four boards, uh, two halves and then uh, one, two large ones. So I'm not sure if there's a thickness difference, um, but uh, or what was the choice to have the four boards and split like this. But uh, in either case, that's what we have. So I'm going to start off as usual, put the boards on the sides, kind of start off with the um, instructions uh, manual. Uh, so here, uh, U-Gears, one of the uh, new uh, additions to the model, they start adding all the parts that are available as additional or spare components. They start adding it on the in the manual just to make sure that you guys, uh, during the assembly, if anything breaks, you can look up if it's available here. Uh, and if it's not, you can order it from us, uh, either manufacturer or if you purchase the model through me, you can order it uh, through uh, info at uh, ugears.us. Um, uh, if you order it directly, uh, there is no charge for shipping, no charge for parts. Uh, if you order it elsewhere, uh, then there is a uh, small $3.50 charge uh, just to cover the shipping cost and the envelope that I ship the parts to. There is no charge for the part, and I usually send as many as you need um, as far as uh, different parts. Um, and uh, usually the quantities uh, that are needed for the assembly. Um, if you want to order directly from the manufacturer, there is a email here. It's customer service at ugearsmodels.com or you can go on their website. Um, but uh, once again, the parts are shipped directly from Ukraine, which normally takes about three, four weeks for the delivery. Um, once again, just to cover, do not light up the candle. Uh, do not press with your finger onto the toothpick. You're gonna hurt yourself. And then a little some uh, legend uh, icons uh, on page three. When you see this, uh, you need to use a wax. I have a set of my own, which is uh, from IKEA tea candle, not to advertise anything. Um, I find this wax to be a little bit softer. And then uh, obviously we have the wax that is included with the model. Uh, that one, I use it uh, a lot of times when you need to apply it, uh, some small parts so you don't have to dig it out, uh, but either one will work. So all you need is just a little bit of lubrication to, for the parts, and uh, here it's even shown how to apply the wax. Exclamation point uh, means pay attention, make sure you don't miss that step. Uh, there's some specific instruction on there that if you miss it, you're not going to have a good assembly uh and obviously the sandpaper you need to use it uh during the um assembly uh this sign or icon means that you need to cut the toothpick or whatever the item is um use the personal use exacto knife scalpel sharp knife whatever works uh when you see a little fan with two arrows that means uh, it should be rotated easily freely almost uh, without any interference and here it's uh, actually one-to-one -one scale ruler 
uh, in order to uh, make the rubber bands um, tie them up in a specific size that is requested or needed for the assembly. This is just some information on a toothpick. It's just a regular 2.2 toothpick that uh, usually available in any household. Or uh, if you run out, you can purchase one at the uh, local grocery store or convenience store. Uh, they're easily available. And of course, there is also a helping tool uh, that are included in a lot of models, not all, but some of, uh, most of them. Um, so I'll pull that tool out right away. It's on board number one. The numbers on the boards are there and uh, it's a little bit below metal on the left hand side of the board um, as far once again covering a little bit how to push the parts out this is the front face back face obviously the number is going to be backwards and uh, kind of like a mirror image of it uh, so in order to push the parts out you press it from the front towards the back that way you eliminate uh, removing some uh, fibers from the actual part so if anything starts pulling it's going to pull off the actual uh, material on the outside of the parts and it's not going to affect the part mu uh, much so you can clean it up and still have a good part to go so in either case uh, this is kind of the end of the preliminary instructions and we're going to go ahead and start with the assembly um, so step one page four uh, we need parts numbers uh, one two three four five so part number one is a little bit on the right a little bit above the middle on a board number one and all of them clusters in about the same location so you got part number two marked with a little uh one mark on there then part number three marked with two marks you got part number four and we need two parts number uh, three parts number five so part number five there's a cluster right in the center there there's Two additional, uh, it has a little add plus sign to it, so that means that's additional spare components. So you can use just the tool to pull the parts out. And we needed three of them, so I got those out. Uh, make sure you clean out the burrs uh, or any extra material that is left on there on the part so it doesn't interfere with the operation. And uh, let's see, we need uh, part number one. We wax, um, as I said, I use this wax. So I just dip into this one to get the parts waxed. And usually when you dip it, the wax stays on the part. Then we need to apply a little bit of a wax on number fives, kind of like all around, uh, little cylinders. Uh, then there's a recommendation uh, to apply part on that long uh, apply wax on the long side and actually shoot both sides of the part number one just to make sure that the parts slide easy. Uh, number four and we need some wax there too. And now we can start assembling. So uh, sequence doesn't matter. A number four goes from the thin side. So uh, let's see if there's any directionality. yep. So, and then the exclamation point obviously shows you that, which the step I'm already doing wrong, is that your teeth need to face the uh, counterclockwise direction. Um, that's the exclamation point, pay attention to it. And then you put the part on and push it all the way down to the end. Uh, and then we got two parts, number five. Um, once again, uh, usually the manual will show how to put it on. Uh, so it's got two little notches on the side and those notches are on the darker side of the part number one so two parts on that side and then uh, part number two which has one uh, little mark here and then uh, that goes on the opposite side of part number one all the way to the end then uh, part number three with two marks facing well forget to mention that also it needs to face up and it needs to face the front so because otherwise it's going to have the wrong um, location of the teeth up on that part so that's part number two uh, three with a mark two on it that needs to go as close as possible to part number one Uh, it's part number two 
Uh, so there is like a, only a little bit of a spacing left. And then we lock it up with the uh, part number five at the end. So it doesn't go anywhere, it just stays at the end. So that's the step one done with the sub-assembly. Next uh, is step number two. We need uh, part number six and three sevens. So part number six is a little bit above the middle on the right hand side of board number one. Push it out and then we need uh, part number sevens. I'm going to use the tool that was provided on there. Once again, there is some additional, two additional seven and 17. So just in case if the parts break or split or whatever, it's going to be there. Or broken by mistake. So we got three parts. Uh, we need to look at the part number six, that little uh, notch with the two holes or a tab with two holes facing kind of about towards you and to the right. Then we insert number sevens from that side into a hole all the way on the left rectangular hole. And then two holes, that is the upper one and then the uh, third one from the top. So these are the uh, three locations where, we're in, where we insert the part number seven. All right, so next step is number three. Now we're gonna put that one aside also. And then the step number three, it's got uh, part number eight. So we take the assembly from step number one. We need part number eight, which is um, on the left of the center line below the middle, somewhere like halfway to the bottom. And then we need uh, parts number nine. So these parts are located top right corner of the board number one. There are five of them and there's three spare ones just in case. So I'm going to carefully push all these out into my hand. And I just lost one. Actually went flying somewhere. So I, I'll need one more. Probably somewhere on the floor. There, actually, I lost two. and now they're somewhere on the floor so I guess that's the good thing that they give you spares I mean I can also go crawling down and uh, try to find them uh, but um, it'll be tough so this one uh, we need to send it uh, because there's a little tabs on here connection points uh, you can either use the provided sandpaper I prefer to use I have a little um, tool it's a precision uh, file and I just use it because it's easier to handle and uh, actually it's uh, almost the size thickness of that uh, little cylinder so these are our bearing cylinders rather than balls and we're creating we're making a little bearing here for the butterfly So these are send it, and now we can either use whichever wax you prefer. I'm just gonna probably start using the provided one just to make sure that we're on the same page. Uh, but uh, the difference is this one's a little bit, uh, the one that's provided with the model, it's a little flaky. So it gets used up a little bit more than uh, the other wax that I use, but either one will work. It's just a preference of the builder, whichever wax you want to use for the model. So we waxed and sanded everything. We take the assembly from the first part and we put that uh, little part number eight um from the longer side of the tab and then we insert the little cylinders there to make sure that the axis is um what is it normal to the center line Try, trying to remember all the terminology <laughs> They would not fit any other direction. And 
then once you insert that, we go into the step number four. And step number four, we take the assembly from step number two. Uh, make sure it's facing the same way as it uh, shown on the picture uh, with that little uh, tab set seven st sticking out and we insert it into most the, the hole that is all the way on the left from the back so once we get it in we lock it up with part number 10 and 5 I should have probably taken those out first so this thing doesn't fall apart I'm gonna carefully set it on the floor so we need part number 10 which is uh, top right where the nines right next to the nine there's two of them just need one for this assembly and then another five to lock it up Clean up the five, put a little bit of a wax on it. And then 10 goes on first. down all the way to the surface and then five to lock it up so just like that and now we need to make sure that this is spinning freely and easy around that axis or with the little bearings inside there so that's all good now. Uh, we're done with page number four, moving on to the next page five. And um, step one, we need to create some toothpicks. A bunch of them are provided. And usually you can use one for a few of these pieces. So we need uh, some different sizes um, using the tool. So the first thing I'm gonna cut off the little sharp points there just to make sure there's a universal uh, thickness of the toothpick I'm not starting with the thinner points we need uh, one four Z which is the longest one in the middle so you just push the toothpick all the way to the uh, end there and cut it off for the longer piece and then we need seven of three z's which is the all holes are marked here or sizes and then you just use that to create seven of the three z size so we got four z and uh, two three z's out of the one toothpick and then it's gonna be or two z's two three z's <laughs> I'm not sure why it's Z, but I guess four, five, six, and then I need the third toothpick. Same, same thing, cut off the end. And slice it off to make it seven, three Z length of the toothpick. Uh, now board one, part number 11, which is right in the middle here, uh, above the middle at the center line, vertical center line, horizontal middle, just to distinguish. And then uh, make sure that little lag is to the left of you and you insert the four three Z's in the small holes on the side. So, and then uh, once you get it in just a little bit just to start off use the tool as you have it against the table and just push it all the way all the way down to the surface to the table so make sure that all of it is flat on that surface 
Uh, step number two, we take that sub assembly. We take where the tab, tab is sticking out, and uh, we're inserted uh, on the onto the number seven, if I believe correctly. So the tab or the little sticking out part goes through the center hole here. Toothpicks are also facing you, and then you snap it together onto the parts number seven. That's our step number two. Step number four, make sure they sit sits all the way all the way down as far as it can go. Step number three is to insert 4Z into the hole right here onto the larger sub-assembly that we created on the, <coughs> on the previous page. Then once again, I'd use the tool just to push it in and make sure it's flush here with the other surface. Just doesn't stick out too much. If it does, just push it back in until it's flush. So that 4Z is uh, on there. Uh, next is we need to wax, wax all these toothpicks. And it's a good idea to wax them after you insert them because then your hands become, and the toothpicks are pretty slippery to get them in. Part number five is laying around. Push it on the side. As we don't need it right now. Um, so we're done with step number four. Step number five, we rotate it. Once again, it's talking about sending out the toothpicks. Just make sure it's flush. Um, the four three Z toothpicks that we inserted that there is no interference there. And then step number six, uh, we, need part, uh, we need parts number 12 and 13. 13 is the top left corner here. I'm gonna use a helping tool to get it out. Just need one for now. And then part number, uh, let's see, we need, we'll need 12, which is on, uh, let's see, top right here. So there is a spare of number 12. Pretty much pairs of everything looks like it. I'm gonna take the board out. All right, and then um, we'll take that little marking facing away from you towards the table, and uh, use three and oh number 13 over it just to make sure it lines up and matches the uh, outline at the top of the number 12 there and then using two of the three z's toothpicks we push them through both of the parts all the way through up until the next uh, surface or other surface and then we keep the little bit extension sticking out here on this side so we're done with one leg and then the other leg it's numbers 15 top left corner same uh, same cluster where number 13 is and the other 14 is on the bottom here bottom right so you can put either one out and my actually additional part flew out and went pretty far away so I'm gonna use that and uh, let's see We need one 3Z that is left. Uh, once again, the little marking here goes towards the table. A uh, little hole, uh, like a little tap there is taken out. So we're going into the hole that is um, to the right. 
and then 15 on the back and there's like a little tab that should stick towards the top opposite of that little uh, slot here so let's see push the toothpick a little further just to start up on a hole and then make sure the outline also matches that it's uh, nice and smooth all around so, and then you push push the toothpick through all the way to the table to the for flat for the surface so now we got two parts two little sub assemblies one is the left side one is the right side and we complete page number five moving on to the page number six step number one we take our larger sub assembly and we take the one with the two toothpicks leg and we insert it into the two holes on the right just like this Okay, and I start it off, push it in, and then if you want to use the tool just to make sure you don't hurt your fingers with the toothpicks, it's inserted like this. Uh, step number two, we uh, wax a little bit the toothpicks that's sticking out, and a little uh, tab here, or sharp point, and then that goes with a hole we rotate the sub-assembly and that uh, large 4Z toothpick that was sticking out, we put it on onto it all the way the, to the end. So our step number two is complete. Step number three, we need parts number 16 and 18. I'm gonna put all the spare parts on the side right now. So uh let's see 16 and 18 16 is in the middle uh, to the right here and then 18 is right at the center line a little bit below the middle and three parts number 17 17 we had in the cl cluster of a top right corner of uh, board number one so there's three of them oh, i'm sorry that was me pulling part number seven. We need part number 17, which are on the bottom of the same cluster. So I'm gonna put part number sevens on the side right now. So to make sure I don't lose them. So we're actually part number 17 that are, we're looking for. All right, and a little bit of a wax on them just to make sure that you can insert them easy into the sub assembly. And then that goes through number 18. Uh, let's see. So this little piece, a little uh, slot is on the right hand side. So going from the back, one, there's only three holes. So we, those are three holes that we're gonna use to push those parts through. And then 16 goes over the top on it, make, make, uh, matching the uh, outline. And then you insert the 17th. So they're a little bit maybe sticking out just a little tiny bit on the uh, front. So everything and a lot on the back. Uh, let's see, so we use the little wax and wax inside the hole here on both sides and then we insert that from that flatmost portion of the sub-assembly. Once again, make sure that the little slot is on the right hand side and then uh, there's three holes, one, two, three, that we put number 17 into.
checking with the uh... okay so uh, that little leg that slot the one toothpick goes into the slot the other toothpick goes there's a uh, hole and a part number um, 18 so they needs to fit in there there you go Push it from the back in case if one of the toothpicks pull out so the leg should have a little bit of a movement here and then it should sit nice and tight against all the surfaces so we're done with um, toothpicks not sticking out here that's what they're pointing in the last step on the page number six and that slot is open also so and that leg moves a little bit we're done with page number six moving on to the next sheet page number seven Right here we need uh, one rubber band uh, created the looped to about eight millimeters. So we take larger rubber bands uh, or thin thin rubber band and uh, not the large ones. And uh, the way to loop it is you hold the rubber band, loop it around your finger, kind of like over one side, bring it underneath and push the end through the loop that you just created with your finger that way you have a little nut and then before tight tied it tying it completely kind of measure a little bit and you can move it a little bit back and forth just to get to the right length as you tie it so it doesn't have to be exactly eight but you try to get as close as possible to the eight millimeters so once again the scale is one to one so this is close enough tie it up as much as possible and then you slice off the larger portion of the uh, rubber band because you don't need it uh, now the step here is that on that leg that is moving you push it you that loop right into the leg bring it up and kind of pull on a rubber band so it gets into that little slot on the leg the closer don't be afraid to pull on it so it kind of like snaps into that inside that little hole because if uh, if you break uh, or snap that rubber band, you can always make another one. And it's early uh, in the stage where you can still replace it. Uh, and then you do it onto this little uh, slot, kind of that is sticking up a little bit higher than the, uh, than the one in the front. So it's uh, a slot in the back. And same thing, you just kind of push it through there and make sure it sits inside the hole. So, we, and we got now, when we press on the leg, it just snaps back up. Uh, another exclamation point, make sure that little nut is on the, I guess on the outside or like away from you, if you're looking at the sub assembly with a longer portion facing you. So we want the nut to be on this side right here. All right, and then uh, moving on to the next step on the bottom portion of the assembly instructions that are need to create some more of the toothpicks so one four z we have that long toothpick left and then we need uh, one two z uh, shorter toothpick there all right um Part, step number one, uh, we need parts number 21, which is on the top center here. Push it out. Number 19, which is uh, to the right, a little bit below. The number 20 is right next to it, to the right. Part number 22, which is uh, all the way on the right, a little bit higher. There's one additional and one 
regular, so just in case. If one splits, you have the second one. And of course, the last one is number five. I had one pulled out that's on the top here, so. Uh, now we need to send our part number 19 there, just to make sure that it's easier to insert. Put a little bit of wax on it. Uh, we're just removing the connection points. And then uh, part number 22, we need to wax around. It also needs to be sanded a little bit, the connection points. And then waxed, since it's a cylinder and it's gonna, we need to, to wax it in the step number two. So I'll just do it now. It's just easier. And now part number 21. Okay, so with the uh, drawing might not be correct because these marks are going to be on the outside if you follow the instructions. So uh, 19 goes from the back, so that um, little slot sh for the rubber band should be towards you. And then 19 with a shorter piece goes right into the part number 21. You push it as far as you can, as far as it can go. Then part number 20, also with the slot for the, uh, for the rubber band, it's going to match, uh, be on the same side as the, for the part number 21. So, and you push it towards it. So both of them are kind of joined together. Then we lock it up with part number 22. Well, not really lock it up, but move it as close as possible. And then part number five, goes as far as you can push it onto number 19 just like that uh, step number uh, two we need to insert the long 4z toothpick through that hole here at the top and then it needs to go through both parts so I'm gonna use the helping tool here all the way through up until the surface. So I'm gonna use the tool to push it back a little bit so it's flush with the surface. And then the other toothpick, the little one, goes into the hole of part number 19 that is sticking out right on behind the 21. So push it in, use your helping tool to kinda push it further, and then make sure you push it far enough so it doesn't stick out above the surfaces here and kinda holds it in place. So we're done with step number three on page number seven on the bottom. Moving on to the next page. That's our page number eight. Uh, that little uh, sub-assembly that we just created, step number four, we wax the toothpick. And we take the larger sub-assembly with the longer part sticking towards yourself. That uh, part number five, the, the round ones, cylinders, they go through the hole here. The toothpick goes into that little slot over here. So this leg also gonna move. Up and down a little bit. I guess. So when you lower this leg, it's gonna move up and down a little bit, slightly. slightly. Uh, let's see, and from the other end, we lock it with number 10. The second number 10 that we have on here, we had on here, it's the top right corner. I had the cluster move, removed a little bit. So we lock it up, the assembly that we just inserted, that's step number five, and we put it from on the other end just so it sits in place, it doesn't fall out. Uh, next step is we need another rubber band. And 
and a rubber band we need again at about eight millimeters loop it around adjust the nut measure it up as you're adjusting it to make sure that you get about the right length and tie it up Uh, you can reuse the rubber bands, uh, the longer pieces that are left, or you can use a new one. We'll see if we're going to have enough. Um, okay, so here, through the leg that we just inserted, we push it, the two, uh, rubber band onto it. Onto the leg. Uh, and then we need to insert it into the little slot. That's our step number one. The slot on the leg first. Going to move it up. And pull on it. To get it into that slot. Still see a little bit of it sticking out. I'm gonna use one of the toothpicks just to help me push that lot rubber band inside the slot. Careful as the parts are fragile, you don't wanna break them. And then the second step is to put that rubber band into the slot that is right next to the leg. Just like that. So as you can see, there's a little mechanism. So when you press on the leg further, this one locks up the uh, movement here. And then when you press on that, that unlocks the other leg. So now the movement is free for the centerpiece. Just make sure that it's operating the way it's, sh the way I'm showing <laughs> and you're good to go. So we're just checking the operation of that um, sub assembly. So we're good. Now we put it on the side and uh, moving on to the, uh, step number one below so we need some more toothpicks uh let's see to the size 2z and we need four of them so i'm gonna pre-cut right away Next step is um, part number 24, which is on board number one to the right here. And then three thick rubber bands. So these three ones, we're kind of line them up one behind the other. We use a little bit of a thread that is provided with the model. Take the thread out and then just loop it through the inside of the rubber bands and push the other two ends of that thread through part number 24. Now holding the rubber bands together 
We need to pull on that thread to get the rubber band out. I'm holding 24 with my left hand and then I'm pulling onto the thread to get the rubber bands through that little tiny hole. So. Pull it about uh, halfway or so. And then we can remove the thread. Now we need part number 23, which is on, uh, let's see, on board number one, right at the center here. Uh, so make sure it's part number 24 is somewhere halfway through. Now we take two rubber bands. We'll pull one out. Make sure you pull the same one out. And then two loops on one side. Push the string through those loops. And then pull that through part number 23, one of the holes there. Uh, the holes on the side, not the center one. To cut that string a little bit because it starts splitting. And then the, uh, let's see, kind of line up the rubber bands. And we're going to do the same thing as we did with the part number 23. We're going to stretch it out. And pull it through part number 23. Three. This one's a little tough. Now we just need to pull a little bit through, a little bit more maybe. Tough, but still goes through. I'll try a little bit more. Just so we have enough to insert the rubber, um, the toothpicks in there in step number three. Maybe a little bit more, just to be on the safe side. There you go. And then uh, let's see. I'll do toothpick right away, so it doesn't pull out. Insert it inside and then pull back onto the rubber band to get it locked. All right. And then the second side, uh, let's see, we'll make sure that it's the same two rubber bands and we we'll go through the same exercise. Pull 
it through and then that goes on to the same part number 23 the hole that is opposite to the one that we just pushed it through lost my thread there for a sec And we'll do the same thing here. Kind of wrap it around your fingers. It is a little tough, but. It's a little easier on that side for some reason, but. Pull it out, pull another 2Z in into the holes. just to make sure that it, the rubber band doesn't pull back out. And pull back on it to get it locked in place. So we have that sub-assembly complete step number three. Moving on to the page number four. Now we chose to pull back on it. And now we need the other two or one rubber band pull the other through the other two holes so one side I'm gonna cut that thread again it's getting split there obviously when you have one it's much easier And then the fourth side. Through the other hole. Line it up, pull it through, take the 2Z, put it inside and pull it out so now we have our little engine here um, wax or <coughs> sand and wax part number 23 it looks like it's going to be rotational And then we need to clean it up a little bit here. Uh, let's see, we need uh, part number, another 2Z, just one of them. see and we insert with a little circular piece onto the tab here and uh, let's see should probably go the other direction where it's thinner rubber bands in either direction should good so there's a little hole and we need to in uh, that little tab so we need to squeeze 2z into that hole so the rubber band engine doesn't fall out so you need to pull the rubber bands a little bit to the side there careful leaning against anything stick the 2z pre-cut toothpick into the little tiny hole somehow okay 
gonna split in the rubber bands that should get you the access to it. And then the idea is to start it, and once you start it, you should be able to push it in with a helping tool. from this side and we're gonna try the other side all right I started it I think and I'm gonna use the tool to get it in there you go so as long as it stick out sticks out a little bit on both sides you're good to go it's not gonna go anywhere now next step uh, we need parts, uh, step number two, we need parts number 28 and 29. Uh, let's see, and they're on board number one in the top left corner here. So 28th is right here. And then 29 is right next to it. Uh, make sure the teeth are counterclockwise. We need to wax them a little bit. And then 29s also needs a little waxing. So we take that uh, part, once again, uh, the assembly is further away from you and the teeth are facing counterclockwise. Push it all the way in and then 29 over it just like that we're done with step number nine moving on to the step uh page number nine moving on to the page number 10. i'm just periodically checking to make sure that we're still recording and here we need one toothpick length 3z one rubber band I'm gonna use one of the ones that leftovers another eight millimeter length All right, put these aside for now till next step two. Now we need part number one and four sevens. So part number, oh, sorry, part number 25 in the step one. So part number 25 is a little above the middle to the left. And then seventh, I pulled out three of them earlier and here's the fourth one. And then with these little slots facing towards the left, that's the side we insert parts number seven. So we go in like all the way to the top hole, the one on the right, the one on the left, and the one that is on the bottom center here. Make sure number sevens are inserted all the way in. Then we take the rubber band and insert it onto these two little slots. Just like that pushing it towards the back and then pulling it back out so I'll need the toothpick so it's actually have to stick out towards the front let's see actually no um, So 
Let me check just a second. I want to see further down. So you want the... Um, you want it probably from the other side. You want that little nut to be in that slot right here. So uh, we need part number, well, the toothpick first. Uh, and we insert it into the hole right here from the same side as number sevens. And then part number 26. And then part number 26 is also on board number one. And it's going to be on the left right here. There's two of them, one spare. So uh, the hole goes through that toothpick. And we hook it. The rubber band is hooked onto the little part. Once again, we're trying to get that knot into the hole right here. So that's my goal. I guess it's easier to put the rubber band on first. Here we go. And then put that part number 26 onto the <laughs> toothpick. I don't know why then I think of it sooner let's see we need to readjust the rubber band a little bit just to make sure we get that uh, not into the slot so it's kind of shorter side on this end and then longer side on the other. That's the one that I'm going to hook the part number 26. Just like that. So the knot's going to go into the slot. And not going to be on the way. All right, and then we cover it all with part number 27, which is at the center here below the middle. And then just make sure that the toothpick hole is matching and squeeze it through. Now the little Part number 26 there is on the spring loaded. It'll be moving back and forth. And separating it just to double check. Make sure the rubber band is over because it's just like this. So it's over the top of part number 26, over the little head on the, on the top there because otherwise you might get removed just like that. And then I put the part number 27 <clears throat> on top. Just like that, and let's see. 
So the little 26. It's in there loaded. And uh, that goes with the Ani subassembly, the step number four. With uh, that uh, part 26 visible, you insert it. You kind of like push it on the side a little bit and insert sub assembly so it's uh it's flush right here on that surface that means that you got it good then we need to hold it and sand the surface around here for that i'm gonna actually use the sandpaper number 30 which is on the bottom left of board number one and we need to send one side of it too it's tough to do so I should have done it before or I can just release the assembly and do it myself Um, push it all the way through up until the hole sticks out and then we use the 2Z which we need to make here to lock that subassembly in place Then we push it through the hole. And once again, once you start it, you should be able to finish it with your helping tool. You just need to get it into the hole and then push it out. Make sure it doesn't protrude into any hole, so it just symmetrical setting into in, in that location um, our next step is page number 11 step number one and here we need parts number 31 and 32 we're still on board number one part number 31 is right here a little bit above the middle to the right and 32 is right above it so those parts 31 goes in first and then you want to go horizontal on that and 32 goes vertical into the same part see just one second uh, it seems like I might have cut a 3z instead of the 2z and just double check so I'm gonna remove the parts numbers 31 and 32 is the 32 needs to sit flush but because of the toothpick it doesn't let me so I'm gonna remove the toothpick and see if it is the size that I need to and I think it is maybe a little bit longer that I need to so I'm just gonna slice up a portion of it just a tiny bit Push it back in. Once again, sit it symmetrically 
and then part number 32. Now it should go all the way in. Yep. So it's all good. And we're done with step number one on page 11. The next step is uh, we need three parts number 33. So uh, all of them are bottom right here on uh, board number one. We push them all out first. All right, and then with that shorter slope or longer slope towards the um, main body, we insert it into the th three holes. And then pull that subassembly out and insert these parts into that subassembly by stretching the rubber band a little bit. And then make sure you set it all the way in, just like that. So you got your butterfly body. Once again, the shorter is here, the longer slope is here towards the main, to, towards the head. And uh, actually we're finished with the step number three. And then part number 34, which is on board number one to the left bottom here. And that with a little two, two tabs towards the back, we insert the two front holes into the little tabs the main front body so here we need as far as it can go and then I missed that step in the beginning we need two two Z's to lag that part in place so I'm just gonna create two Z's now it's not the part's not gonna go anywhere. And then we insert it into the little holes to hold that part in place, 34. So one is there in the hole, just need to center it and push it so it's uh, symmetrical. And then the second one, we can do it from the other side. Once we start it, then it should go in with the tool. Symmetrical, and then we're done with page number 11. Uh, moving on to the page number 12. Step number one, uh, we need four, well, not one, but four three Z's, uh, toothpick size. One, two, three, and four. And then we need to uh, 20 millimeters of the toothpick just on its own. So I'm going to use the same. Just 
just like this. We got 20 millimeters length and we need two of them. So I got one. And then here's the second one. And we continue our assembly on page 12. Step number one. Uh, so we need part number five. And I'm gonna do the left side first. Uh, we need two of those on the left. Uh, part number 35, they're on board number three. No, we'll start 36, which is on board number one. No. Yes, uh, 36 is going to be on board number two. Ooh, 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 ooh. So 36, part number five, uh, part number, I'm going from the back, part number 36 is the middle, a little bit above the middle on the left here. Then part number 35, which is on board number three, right here at the center. Then part number 37, which is gonna be on board number one, Ugh, a little bit tough. Uh, on the right below the middle here, there's some additional spare parts too. Then 38 is going to be on board. Number 38 is going to be on on board number one to the right it's all over the place and then another to number five just like this and then the other side we need part number five another five just on the other end part number 40 i'm just going to go through the exercise so i don't have to look for them again it's on board number two on the left Part number 39, board number three, the center here. Part, part number 41 is gonna be in the little piece that I pulled out that's off of board number one. And then part number 42, board number one, is right below the 38 and then five all right now where are we putting wax wax goes on to parts now we're so i'm gonna clean up that some excess wood excess fibers on the smaller parts number five I'm just removing it with my nails. Alrighty, so we need to wax part number 37, the teeth. Part number 38, all the teeth. Part number 41, the teeth. And 42, all the teeth. All right. Now we're ready to assemble. Uh, I would probably start from the back. So the shorter and the little tab, there's like a little, little long tab towards the top. The part number four, 36 goes from the back on the shorter portion facing with the tab facing to the left. All the way until it's locked. Part, part number five goes right behind it 
Part number 37 goes from the front with the teeth facing down, right? No. Let's see. To the right, I guess, no? No, the teeth facing down. They're like down and a little bit to the right. And you push it all the way in as far as it can go. Then um, 38 with the tab to the left. All the way against 37. And then five just sticks on uh, end. You don't need to push it all the way in. It has to be on the end as shown on the picture next to it. Just like that and then we do the same thing on the other one so the longer tab towards the top part number 41st with the slot facing towards you goes in from the back as far as it can go and then five flex it up Then 41, Let's see with two facing up, I guess. That's the easier way to describe it. Once again, all the way in. As far as it can go. Then uh, part number 42 with the tap to the right and that we push so it's on the same level as the 38 and then we'll lock it up with the five the next step so we need to make sure the pictures, this picture's matching. So the longer pieces, the 20 millimeter pieces we insert from the back with a little bit sticking out. Where it's parts 36 and 40. short pieces about the same length they're sticking out and then uh, parts number three Z two three Z's goes from the front and they just flush with the rear surface do not have them stick out in the back flush flush all right so your part should look somewhat like what's on the picture here and now we have step number three we need part number 43 two of them both of them are on board number two and that's where the other two three Z's go into they go from inside so if you have the parts same thing make sure make sure you mirror them one from one side goes on the right and one uh, from inside goes on the left. And these get inserted over these little tabs. 
just like that with the toothpick underneath now parts number 45 and 44 so 45 on the left and 44 on the right we need to wax the toothpicks that are sticking out on front here just a little bit of wax And then 45, it's with a little wave towards the back and kind of going up onto the other tab. And same thing on the other side. So the little wavy thing facing towards the outside and onto the opposite, opposite end. Done with page number 12, moving on to the page number 13 and step number five we need parts number 46 to lock these in place they're on the bottom right of board number two bottom left sorry pull all four of them out and i would put a little bit of wax and then ins inside of the uh, middle tab there just to get them in a little bit easier all right we're gonna start with one on the right then I'll do with the holes and it doesn't matter which side is On the right and then one's on the left one from the back and one from the front the one that's closer to the front it's from the front one closer to the back from the back just make sure you line it up with the holes properly And push it all the way in. Done with uh, step number five, and we need to wax number fives here on the front and on the back. All right. Uh, next step is six and we take the a1 the one on the left and that goes uh, t -t 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 -t. where does it go uh, we insert that uh, number five into the hole right here at the center uh, let's see the toothpick should be on the bottom And, uh, under this toothpick just like that and then uh, step seven we insert the other one on the opposite side just like that now let's see lift it up a little bit Uh, let's see so um, and join them two together here in the front okay so make sure they're horizontal and then that should be good make sure the other parts are lining up with the other teeth and uh, the toothpick in the back should be horizontal these two so that's what it's showing in the last step of page 13 and then we're moving into the page number well we can't really do anything with this right now at this point of time so we can lock it up so i'm just going to leave it on the side we're going to be get back to it and we're moving on to the page number 14 so we need 
more of the toothpicks. Pre-cut four times four Z. One, two, three, four times four Z and two times three Z. Shorter ones. Okay, put the helping tool on the side. Uh, step number one, we need part number 53, which is on board number two, but above the, the middle here on the right. And then two numbers 54. And both of, both of them are also on the board number two, a uh, little bit to the left of the center, closer to the top. And these, uh, let's see, with the part number 53, with that slot facing towards the left, uh, we're insert the 54 from the front. And then they need to kind of like step down. So right into these two center holes. Just like that. So that's uh, step number two. We need part number... 51 it's on board number one uh, top left and let's see we need to uh, 3z in into top hole from the back flush 4z bottom hole, the third one from the top, from the back. Uh, same length as the uh, sticking out on the back, same as the 3Z. So sticking out a little bit on the front. And then another 4Z coming going from the front. And then we need the measuring tool, get it to about the length of 2Z. So I'm just going to insert a 2Z here and push that toothpick in until it's flush, just like that. So that's the picture that is showing us right here. That's the way it's supposed to look like. Then we wax all three toothpicks. take part number 57 which is on board number one upper left and then uh, this little sub assembly in step one uh, with the steps uh, or the, these little uh, parts 54 facing away from you uh, we insert that uh, little lag with the larger longer toothpick through the hole and then the shorter through the little uh, slot here. And then the ones that is uh, through the hole, we put number 57 over it. And then push, push toothpick so it's flush with port number 57 surface, outside surface there. Just like that so it's still sticking out in the back and it's moving inside that slot the next step number four i'm gonna put it aside right now that part part number uh we need part number 52 which is on the bottom right of board number one and kind of similar exercise 3z from the top 
flush from the back, flush with the uh, front surface, 4Z in the second hole from the back, flush with the 3Z, and here, and then uh, 4Z from the front on the third uh, bottom hole here, with the 2Z sticking out. And uh, so it should look like this. And we're going into the page number 15, wax. The toothpicks. And they go on the opposite end. Same thing, the longer one through the hole, the shorter one through the slot. And then we lock it up with the number 57. Second one. Now I'm pushing that toothpick to flush it with the surface of number 57. movement here now we turn it the other way and we need parts number 55 which is on board number two right at the center here above the middle and then uh, parts number 56 two of them there on the Top left corner, right where 57 was. So we need all four of them. And I'm pushing all of them out. Now 55 goes with that round up portion towards the top. It goes on the two bottom or two the middle one on the left and the bottom one on the right just like that and then we lock it up with the number 56 pull it from the back Okay, and then we put the other two 56s, one on the middle, one on the right. And uh, let's see, bottom one on the left. Like that and then the leg should move fairly easy back and forth like this okay so the next step is number eight keep on checking if we still recording just to make sure that the timer is running and then we look at the front uh, we need to make sure that the two lines are parallel and parallel to each other or in line with each other and parallel to the ground. We insert that sub assembly from the front. And then there's two slots 
that it needs to snap in on the bottom. Just like that. Make sure that it's all the way in on both sides. And that's it. That's our butterfly here. Step number 15, or page number 15, step number eight complete. Uh, next step, um, page number 16, step one. We need parts number 47A. It's on the top right. Of board number two part number 50 which will be on board number three top left here part number 49 which would be on board number one God, we're all over the place here it's a little below the middle on the left here then part number 48 back on board number Mm -hmm. No. 48 will be right above the 49 on board number one. Then we need part number 50 back on board number three and part number 47 uh, from board number one. So I guess I could have just went by boards and got it all as needed. Okay, so 47 up front. All right, we'll start with part number 48. So 49, push it through the hole. It looks like it's symmetrical. So it's gonna sit kind of like symmetrical in that hole of part number 49. 50 goes through the center hole. Lined up with the openings and then 47 a lines up with that hole right here on the side and then 50 from the back just make sure you match the uh, outline so that's our nose 47 on the other side and now we insert this tab into this hole first and kind of slide, guide it in and slide it in the back here too. So it's sitting there up front. Then we need uh, part number 50. Lock it up, make sure you press it down here on the back just to lock it in place. sure that the top sits in perfectly on there all right so we're moving down to step number three we need parts number five just two of them and those those go onto the front or onto the back all the way of that little uh, flat piece on the bottom 
of the body. Just like that, we're done. Now next step is number four. We need three parts number 59. They're on the board number two on the right here. Halfway from the middle to the bottom. Uh, and part number 58, and 58 is located on board number three on the left. These are longer fragile parts, so make sure you uh, take your time pulling those out. And then 59 goes from the right side, or left side, sorry. Just like that. And then we need a uh, second part number 58. We wax a little bit these number fives that we just inserted. And then we put that sub assembly from one side and 58 from the other side, kind of locking them two together. Upside down. And snap them all together. So now we have that extension that's gonna move up and down a little bit. Moving on to the page number 17. Uh, now we need parts number 78 and 79. So there are on board number two, 78 right in the middle to the left, below the middle, uh, to the left of the center line. 79 is on the bottom right. So 78 we're going to put in first. And then there's a little tabs on the bottom, so they need to face down. And 78 goes in the, all the way in the front. Second step is 79s. Those go with a little tab facing towards the top onto the second slot on the right and the left hand side. Next part is number 80 and 81. So 81 is on the right, bottom right of the board number two. And then 80. 80s are on the board number three on the top center there. Oh wait, 81, 82. So 80, once again with the tap facing up goes into the second slot. Or third slot, sorry. And then 82 is going to go on the right with the butterfly facing away from you with the tap facing towards the top. And then 81 is going to go on the left hand side also with that little tap facing up.
like that and we're done next step we're gonna put that butterfly on the side next step on the bottom part number one we need part number 66 which is on board number two and it's all the way at the center here um in the middle on the top so here uh, with a little split left leaf on the left hand side we need to take one of the rubber bands and cut it in half the thick rubber bands not half but just slice it slice it open and then we put it on the right here uh, the further away hole so we kind of stretch it and slide it into that hole and push it out a little bit so it stick, barely sticks out then we wrap it and slide it in kind of stretching into the second hole that is closer to you and as you do you kind of pull it on the side and you slice off the excess So it's going to be a little bit of rubber band here and that's all we need. Now we do the same thing. Let's see, we did it on the right hand side. And now we do it on the left hand side. So we need to do it like on the both sides. And then don't stretch it just kind of wrap it hold it down here and then pull it through and as i said don't stretch it stretch it myself same thing pull it back I'm not sure if I was off the screen again or not uh, so we're gonna put that one with the leaves away that's the 66 and then we need a 67 which is right below the 66 on the same board and we do the same thing now here we need that little tab needs to be at the top left so uh, and that will dictate that's going to be the top so on the bottom we put that rubber band loop on the bottom so slides it through put it in put it into the other hole kind of pull it towards the back so it's wrapped on there and then cut off the excess And do it on the other side too. Insert it. Pull it so it's a little bit sticking out. So it's nice and clean look, kind of. Then pull it through on the other side, pull it up. And then there's a little loop. So I just pull it on the loop to get it nice and clean look. And then slice it off here too. And we got ourselves completed step number four and page number 17. Uh, page number 18. We're going to put these kind of keep them here. Page number 18, we need two parts number 62 and two parts number 63. So 62 are on the bottom left here of board number two. And then 63 were right here. I pulled them out. And so we need to find that part. So two of those. I pull it from there. And then we insert it with a little wavy portion up into the two holes that are available. Of the 62. And then Make sure that they're lined up or the same outline. We insert the 
other 62 on the opposite end. Once we do that, there is four holes here, so we gotta pay attention to that. And that's gonna be that end of 62 is gonna be into these two holes. So these four is gonna be on the left hand side. So we just need to make sure that. And the other part is gonna go here. So make sure the rubber bands are on the bottom there. And just like that, step number three, I'm going to put that aside. We need parts number 64 and 65. So 65 is going to be on board number two, right at the center here, middle, a little, little below middle. And then 64s are top right corner of board number three. Okay, alrighty, so 64, they go into the four little holes here. in all the way in so they're flush and then um, it goes into the opening right in between just push it in make sure it says flush on all ends so for a nice clean look next uh, parts number 68 and 69 on board number four and one so board number one at 68 on the bottom here and board number four you're gonna have right here 69 little part here push these out now with the longer portion let's see that should go from the flower. So like the shorter, let's see, we have a smaller leaf kind of bending towards the left. And that's the way the, f uh, the top portion, the leaves gonna go on or petals or whatever it is to make sure that larger opening is right here. And then insert it as far as it can go. Next step is page number 19, step one. Uh, we take part number 70 on the board, number four, right at the top left corner here. And there is three parts number 71 on the bottom, bottom right here. Then make sure that you gears are facing up and we insert 71 with uh, these little thin sharp points towards up, up and then towards the outside so kind of like this need to work it in a little bit towards the top and away towards the top and towards the outside. Next step, 
I'll do probably the leaves. I skip the step number two. I'll do step number three and four first. So first part number 73, bottom here, and the board number four. And then one's go, I'm gonna go on away from the U gear sign, just like that. Next one is 72 on the left. So that way I make sure that 71s are also locked on both ends. And then 74, also on the board number four. That's the last hole or last tab here. Just like that. So we get a flower and then we insert that flower with the U gears into that opening. And to the tab, just like that. Next step is parts. I have to kind of put it on the side. It's getting too large. Parts number 76, also on board number four on the right here. And part number 75, which was in the middle, kind of fell out for me, also on board number four. We insert the, these little antenna things. go kind of like facing it towards the outside or sloping towards the outside and then right in the center here locking it all in place center of the flower. Okay, it doesn't fit that way. I'll try it that way. And it fits like this. Next board is 77 on board number three. Top right corner here. And then that goes from the bottom of the flower here. And page number 20. That whole flower assembly goes into the board base here. Let's see, facing towards away here. So, um, so the flower needs to face away from that whole assembly. Insert it into the four, four holes of the base. Make sure it's nice and flush. Put it aside for now. Now I need part number 60, 61, 260s and 261s. So 61s were also on the bottom right of the board number two. We got those here. And then 60s are on the bottom or right side of board number three. We have a few steps left. Uh, okay, so 61. Get this inserted into the 60s. And then another 60 on the other side. Now we take two toothpicks, slice out the ends off of it, the sharp ends. We take the base flower on the left. Uh, we insert that sub assembly that we just did with the little uh, two holes here. They go into here. Let's see, just one second. 
Uh, so there is a hole here and a slot here. So we go with the bottom holes first. And we get it too thick through there. And the new one, I just cracked that one just in case. So hopefully you guys can be see it better. So it's on the bottom here. So we're going to go through that hole first. Kind of to get it secured. And then I'm going to push the toothpick all the way in. So that part moves up and down. And then the second toothpick is going to go through that little uh, slot and into the hole right here. Same thing all the way through. Flush here. Flush there. Uh, now we need to create a three rubber bands, three loops, which are as long as the little tab. So I guess we need to just create a shorter or a helping tool. So just a little shorter. Little short uh, loop here. Slice it off. And then they need, they just need to be as long, without much stretching, as long as the tool, helping tool. So it's just a little short loop. And we need to make three of these. And we uh, we're cut uh, cutting off the shorter loop rather than the long because we need the long one for the assembly. All right. Now we got three uh, rubber bands. Uh, okay, so back to the assembly. We need to slice off these uh, toothpicks. Make sure you pre-cut it and then you can snap it off. Just make sure it's flush here. Okay, so now we take the rubber band and uh, we put one end through the slot here. And one side. Doesn't matter which slot you pick first. You might want to insert one side first and then the other part of the rubber band. So it kind of sticks out. Then you pull it through the holes of the little uh, sub part number 60. One, two, one, two, and then we pull it through the other two ends on the other part 60. Just like that. So there is like a little spring action here. Moving on to the page number 21. Uh, same thing, we need two pre-cut toothpicks. With the flat, flat ends. And uh, we insert the full butterfly over the flower, same, same principle. So we get um, 
through the bottom here to holes. Rotate a little bit. And then through the top, through the slot hole in the butterfly assembly, and then through the slot again. Just like that. I'm gonna push them all the way in with my helping tool. And then same thing, we're gonna slice off make sure you don't slice your finger pre-cut be too thick and slice it off or break it off and then the same thing uh, we kind of do up top as we insert the rubber band into the slots here of uh, that's part number 60. On one end. Pull it through the holes. And into the slots on the other side. Just like that so it's a little spring but we're gonna adjust it a little bit later and then the third is right at, underneath the butterfly here so I'm not really sure how to show it's the uh, same thing we need to put the rubber band through here and then it locks on these slots right here so we're gonna use the third one kind of stick it underneath it not sure how to show so through the holes here uh, hopefully you guys can see it and then through these slots these slots right here on uh, bottom So I'm gonna do it on both sides. Create a spring effect. All right, uh, next we're done with that bottom step here. And then next step number five is that we need another D about two thirds of the rubber band. So I'm just gonna take another one. Split it open. I got myself measuring portion here. So we got about the length of it. It's about uh, 50, 100, 145, almost 200. So 200 or 20 centimeters. So we're looking at about two thirds of it, uh, six and a half or so, six, great. To take out about 65 to 70 millimeters. So 50, we'll do 65. And then that rubber band goes, uh, let's see, through a little, slot here at the top of the butterfly right at the center and then that's where we stick it for now then we're moving on to the page number 22 and then it goes towards the front underneath the tab here and then you pull it and grab it onto the little slot right here on the front of the wing or underneath and then through the here so it's kind of holding the um, 
wings up. And then next part is part number 83. They're on board number three. There's two additional and two spare parts or two regular and two spare parts. So just pull them out. And these gonna get inserted into the, these are antennas. They're gonna get inserted into the butterfly nose here. Now the wings installation. All right, I'm not sure how to fold it up. So I'm gonna do go with the color ones. So the little ones go on the back. The large ones go in the front. So uh, let's see, I'm gonna move it up a little bit so you guys can see it. And then you need, because it's kind of like a little clip on here. So we need to get into that openings. Not sure if it makes sense or not. So, we start with the back here and kind of like the same thing you need to watch the front so uh, let's see get it into the clip Line it up. Oop. That one fell out and that one fell out. It's kind of hard to get it simultaneously in. And you kind of need to split it open a little bit just to push it past. So there's like a little tab that's gonna lock into the hole of the wing. And then as you pull it towards inside, it's gonna go inside the slots here. Just make sure those little tabs lock inside the holes and you got your wing installed so hopefully you can see it fine i'm gonna try the second one it's the same thing so you kind of slide it the parts into the openings there's like a little clips i don't know if you can see it Probably better, we'll, we'll see it better on the front ones than it is on the rears. So as, it, as you keep on sliding, we need to open up these up a little bit. So they go further and then push the wings towards the back or towards the center. Just like that. So the second one is installed and then the front wing wings it's the same thing two clips they need to these little tabs i don't know if you can see it they need to go into the holes of the wing so um kind of slide the wing through continue sliding then you need to open up these little clips so you can slide the wing further without giving it too much bend. And make sure those tabs lock. Not lock the wing. Here's the second wing or third wing and then this final one. 
It's the same exercise. All the way in so this this wing is all the way in this one is not now it is all right so the butterfly is ready wings are installed uh, moving on to the page number 23 so here uh, we need to install because of the weight um, as you see, we need to install the little or adjust the rubber band to make sure that little um, toothpicks that are inside the slots, they're right at the mark. When it sits, it's in neutral position. So pretty much these little guys right here in the slots, that they're in a neutral position when you when it sits idle with this. So mine... The top one is a little bit lower, so I'm gonna unhook one side of the rubber band and kind of reset it. Now it's a little too much. Let it go. And it's about right. And then on the other side, that's too much. Let it sit a little bit. Maybe a little bit too much here. All right, so now it's all good. Sits uh, right at the center lines where it shows. Both the rubber bands are adjusted. Hopefully so. My manipulation is a little bit there. And now with the operation. Uh, so operation, uh, we do winding up first. And then um, we need to lock the subassembly. So the middle leg, the, all the way the rear leg is to lock it. I don't know if you see it or not that I'm squeezing it. And uh, you can't really see it under the wigs. It's that leg right here. So you squeeze it to lock it. You should hear a little click. Then I'm holding the body and I'm doing the wind up. So I did 12 half turns, it says about 15, 12 should be enough. And then to start running it, there is a, the middle leg right here. That's the one that you squeezed in order to unlock it. And then it's gonna, should go. So I'm uh, unlocking it right now. And here we go, it's flapping the wings. So pretty much it shows you everything works. You just need a little bit more room. Uh, let's see, once again, you lock it with the rear leg on the right-hand side. It kind of like unsnaps the middle one. Then you wind it up. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then middle leg, you squeeze. And it goes. Beautiful, gorgeous model. So this completes our assembly for U Gears Butterfly. Uh, if there are any questions, uh, do not hesitate to contact me. The uh, email is uh, info at ugears.us. Um, if there are any broken components, there should be plenty uh, in the uh, as a spare components inside the box. But if you're missing any, just uh, send us email or if there's something that are not there at info at ugears.us, we'll send it for free if you purchased it from us or we can order from the manufacturer at no charge. Otherwise, there is a small shipping charge of 350 just to cover my shipping cost and the envelope. Uh, once again, the email is info at ugears.us. Please direct all the questions there or uh, down in the comments below. 
I usually look at those every now and then, uh, and within a couple of days I will answer it. Uh, thank you for being with me again. Uh, my name is Dimitri. I'm with uh, UKids LLC, UGears US. Uh, my website to check out more models is uh, www.ugears.us. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.